Infinity 2 family, welcome back to the channel, T Infinity 2, T Infinity here back again with another message for you. So today we are going to be taking a look into Divine Feminine's energy and we are going to see what the Archangels and the Most High have for Divine Feminine today. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for being here, thank you for tuning in, this is General. It may not resonate with everybody, but if it resonates with you, hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe. So, um, I had got some messages yesterday. I did a pre-pull, and for Divine Feminine, I got Ace of Cups, New Love, Self-Care, Loving Yourself, Light Side and Dark Side flaws and all embrace of oneself to be whole and then i got family home commitment number one focus at this time providing love and nutrients not only physically but spiritually being able to build on a solid foundation therefore all things will grow strongly and long lasting then I got detached and cold, masculine energy, a sense of shattered thoughts and feelings at times due to certain patterns created from a dark time or individual or entity attachment, addiction, and toxicity in your life. So take it what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Then I got guilty and self-sabotage. Constantly blaming yourself for shortcomings, unkept promises, and inconsistencies. Wallowing in self-pity, ego, and sorrow. Not taking accountability for one's actions or failure of that created certain situations. Not being able to forgive or apologize. Continuing the same way without ceasing to change course or direction so this could be you or this could be somebody that is around you okay or this somebody that can be connected to you with a soul tie with a spiritual tie a commitment a contract something like that okay through children or it could be friendship relationship it could be family take co-worker take it how it resonate okay alchemy spirit guides Taking one power, taking one's power back, using it to transmute negative energy, combating evil with good, practicing what you believe daily, listening intently to any subtle or subtle nudges from your spirit guides, archangels, and the universe, faithfully knowing you are never truly alone. Okay, and I was getting some like side, some side channel channelings unseen forces all around unrealistic investments okay just doesn't amount disqualify you disqualify shorty you disqualify you disqualify shorty you disqualify that's the song i was getting i was getting another song as well um karmic femme and karmic masculine peering eyes i was channeling that as well resentment what is resentment bitter and the feeling of being treated unfairly so somebody feels like that or you could feel like that infinity family then i got comfort zone self node and clingy feelings of not wanting things to change resisting the inner work it takes to change one's perspective or let go of a certain way of thinking remaining in a codependent state lack Lacking the courage and strength to see things clearly, gaining an inner standing and grasp the concept of letting go. Okay, so you could be having an issue with that or somebody in your energy could be having an issue with that. Spying, watching, and inspecting. Constantly, constantly engaging in your energetic field via remote viewing, monitoring, astral projection, divination, visualization techniques, or witchcraft. Watching you from afar through others 
wearing a mask or a disguise okay so th there's th this is this could be happening to you or this could be happening to people that's in your energy okay take it how it resonates they could be being spied on with with all of these type of ways okay specific this is a specific channeling that i got specific going through your social media watching and dissecting the old you versus the new you comparing you to themselves and to others and somebody it side note somebody is like very confused whether or not you want to subscribe to my channel or not but i'm no probably nine times out of ten you watching my videos okay it's up to you whether you want to subscribe or not okay you don't have to subscribe to the channel if you feel like you want to subscribe subscribe if you feel like you don't want to subscribe but you just want to watch the videos do whatever feels right to you but if you are having confusion whether or not you should do something i feel like you should not do it I feel like you should not do it because I see somebody keep subscribing and unsubscribing, subscribing and unsubscribing. And if you feel like you keep, you don't know whether or not you should subscribe to my channel or not, don't subscribe to this channel, okay? This is not for everybody. And I always say that. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Back to the message, okay? Guarded, closed off. Boundaries and walls put up from pain and betrayal, lack of trust due to non-communication, non um, tit for tat, spiteful ways, secrets and de secrets and deceit. Okay, saturated emotions, hardening one's heart, causing numbness and loss of empathy. So this is somebody's feelings towards you, Infinity Two Family. That's how I feel. Okay. Um, this is a song that I got. Hot then you're cold, yes then you're no, in then you're out, you up then you're down, you wrong when it's right, you black then you're white, you fight we break up, we kiss we make up. You, you don't really want to say no, but you don't really want to go. Oh, okay, that's by Katy Perry. And I feel like somebody truly, really does feel like that. Like, they don't want to stay with you, but they don't want to let you go. Or you could feel like this about somebody. Like, you don't really want them, but you don't really want to let them go so they could be with someone else, okay? Take it how it resonates, and we are going to get into this reading. Okay, so now we're going to get a message from our archangels and then I'm going to clarify that message that we already got. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangels from all four corners, Mother Earth, Father God, Father God, Father Gosh, Father Gosh, Father God, oh my goodness, Ruach Akodesh coming to this message, this reading, and give us the most important message that we need concerning divine feminine from the archangel oracles and for any other um any other tools that we use thank you archangel michael protect me as i look into this energy ashe 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 so i don't so i hope you were listening good and i was speaking clearly i was communicating clearly because i said that um a lot of you are focused on your family right now okay and a lot of you are focused on home right now and this is providing love and nutrients not only physically but spiritually and so a lot of you are doing that i feel like you are providing you're providing a certain amount of spiritual nutrients to your children and i feel like they know that and they appreciate that and i feel like they actually like want that and not only your children but others that's in your soul tribe that's in your soul group okay and the first card that came out again today the archangel gabriel came out yesterday in yesterday's reading and you may want to go check that out because that could resonate with today's reading because i'm already seeing the archangel gabriel is here again so archangel gabriel says nurture nurture Mm -hmm. And it says, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Okay, so it's important for you to nurture yourself, 
your inner child just like you would and you do nurture your children for those of you that has children now if you don't have children then this part of the message is clearly not for you okay and spiritual understanding again at the about 1001 on the clock spiritual understanding so this is how you are able to teach and nurture your children and your inner child because of spiritual understanding and this is from our angel Raziel, and this came out in yesterday's reading as well i am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths okay so what we're going to do is we're going to clarify we're going to clarify some of these we're going to clarify the first one when it comes to divine feminine detached and cold detached and cold so holy spirit holy angels use the cue card deck to show us detached and cold thank you foolish so this is somebody that's a fool okay this is somebody that is very sexual all right i feel like this person this could be an aries doesn't have to be but this person operates out of their sacral chakra a lot okay they could wear orange a lot as well or they could like orange or they could like fruit i'm seeing here they could eat fruit a lot you could eat fruit a lot but it says this could be good 11 11 on this clock for some of you this is your twin flame that's detaching cold from you they want to sexually engage with you but i feel like you look at this person as a clown you look at this person as a fool okay yeah you do because they try to twist your fate. And if you look at the video yesterday, Twist of Fate was in reverse. And, and the title was like, they tried to twist your fate and got tangled up or something like that. Yeah, and this is the same energy that is given. Somebody was foolish for trying to twist your fate because you're still good. I've seen that. And you nurturing yourself. You're eating healthy. You're working out. You're, you're taking care of business. You're taking care of yourself. You're getting rest. You're showing yourself self-love. All of these type of things that you're doing. And I feel like somebody just feels foolish. And that's why they're detached from you and cold. Okay. And we, we're going to clarify this today. We're going to use the modern witch tarot today. We're going to use the modern witch tarot today to tell us about this yeah look ten of cups at the bottom 12 12 on this clock because somebody wants to be good with you after i feel like they detached from you and they were cold towards you tell us thank you holy spirit look they on the fence about something mm -hmm. letting you go four of pentacles they're on the fence about letting you go that's what i'm seeing here this is this is orange if you look at this jacket it's orange it's orange, like I said, this person is operating out of their sacral chakra. This person has a lot of like sexual desires towards you. 1244 on this clock. That's what I'm seeing here. And they don't want to let you go. That's what I'm seeing here. This person could wear glasses. This person could be all about money. Like they could, everything is about money. Like if it don't make money, it don't make sense. That's what I'm hearing here. If it ain't about the money, don't be calling me up, nigga. I ain't picking up. That's what I'm hearing here. If it ain't about the money, huh? Don't be calling my line. You wasting my time. That's what I'm hearing here. This person is all about the money. And like I said, they very sexual towards you. They look at you as very sexy. They look at you as hot. A hot tamale. You could have been called that when you was a child or when you was younger. Like a hot tamale. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile with you. You could be a queen of wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or leo sun moon rising venus north node okay that's what i'm hearing here and this person really wants to connect with you in a sexual way okay yeah and they're waiting on you three of cups three of wands and the cups and the wands is talk about sex okay this talks about you know passion this talks about emotions this person wants to they're waiting to reconcile with you so that they could be sexually you know engage with you but I feel like you don't want to be sexually engaged with this person because you see they red flags and because they're getting exposed. They're getting exposed. And that's another reason why they feel detached and cold towards you. Okay. Yeah. Look, four of cups. I can never make it up. This is why they feel detached and cold from you because they missed their opportunity on a new opportunity in love with you. I feel like they went for a karmic. Okay. We're going to clarify this um, queen of wands out here. Clarify this queen of wands. yeah this these all came out in reverse this queen of wands okay this could this could be a karmic this could be a karmic with the snake card coming out this could be a karmic okay somebody could have been cursing you out 
They're not seeking higher power and they don't have the facts of life. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's a matter of time for some shit blow up with this person. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's why you could be getting a lot of phone calls. Or that's why somebody could be calling you. Talking about something. Please call me back. Or you could. Or whatever the case may be. Because I feel like they know that you know that they're a snake. And they know that you know that it's me a seconds to spare. And if you go look at my video from yesterday, I literally put this at the end of the video. Not even knowing that it was going to be coming out today. In this video, y'all. Mere seconds to spare. So, yeah. Somebody knows that it's mere seconds to spare. This fool does. This clown. Okay, that dealt with this karma. That was a snake. That was also all about the money. This person could have had a baby by this person. For some of you, for others of you, this is somebody that wants a new beginning with you because they feel like you're sexy, but they're a snake. Okay? And they don't want to let you go. Okay? but Because all they want to do is have sexual experiences with you. That's what I'm seeing here because you're very nurturing, just like your angels told you at the beginning. And I feel like because they know that you're nurturing your inner child as well, this is probably why they want to reconcile with you. And they want some of this happiness. Look, and the fool coming out again, clarifying the fool. I can never make it up. Okay, so I feel like that's a no. Let's get an angel answer for this one. Detached and cold. Let's get an angel answer for this one. Holy Spirit, what do you tell it? What do you say about this detached? detached and cold energy when it comes to divine feminine. What do you say about this? I feel like this Queen of Wands also could have been doing some type of magic on you, divine feminine as well, with this um, energy that's detached and cold. Trust. Okay? Holy Spirit said trust. That is right. That's a yes. That is a big yes, okay? Yeah, and you recovering from this. You recovering from this. Point blank, period, pool. Let's move on. We're moving on to, what was the next one? Um, Guilt and self-sabotage. Guilt and self-sabotage. Holy Spirit, show us a cute card about that guilt and self-sabotage. Why'd you show us guilt and self-sabotage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because somebody feel like everything that they say to you, you just like, yeah, 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 whatever. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because they were sabotaging you. They were sabotaging you because they were targeting you. They were targeting you because they were trying to attract you, but you're not attracted to them. That's what I'm seeing here. And they're not attracting anything to themselves. Look at this. This is a magnet in reverse. They're not attracting anything to themselves. That's what I'm seeing here. And they having to tough it out. They having to tough it out, and that's why they feel guilty, because they sabotage their own self. That's why I'm seeing here. Clarify this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, nobody wants to give to them. Nobody wants to deal with them. Nobody wants to help this person here, because everything they say is a crock, a crock of sh That's what I'm hearing here. It's a lie from the pits of hell, and that's why they suffering and, and betrayal, they, because they lied to themselves. They lied to you. They lied to multiple people. They was being a snake. Okay, point blank, period. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and it was all about the sex. It was all about their wine. That's it. They were using their wine in a lot of different ways. That was, un. it was, I'm hearing ridiculous. Like, it was ridiculous. It was unnecessary, the way that they were using their wine. That's what I'm seeing here. And it was just investing their wine into everything. They were just investing they want into everything. And that's exactly why you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they invested into a lot of shit, but it did not work. Tower. Tower. And now they're receiving a tower here. Yeah, and they're in a lot of conflict. They're in a, in a lot of conflict, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Because their investments did not work. Six of Pentacles in reverse. The tower card. Why you show us this target here? Why you show us a target here for guilt and self-sabotage? Look. This person cannot get any rest. They're not resting. This person here could also be ill from sabotaging you or sabotaging themselves. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody is sick and tired of somebody. That's what I'm hearing here. Sick and tired. Yes, 1919 on this clock. Somebody is like, I'm sick and tired of you. Like, they're telling somebody that, like, they're sick and tired of them. And yeah. They are. They telling somebody that they dealt with. This is two karmics. One can have red hair. One can have brown hair. One can have black hair. That's what I'm seeing here. They telling it. They telling them. Look, nine and nine. I'm sick of you. This masculine. 
This king of cups, they telling this karmic that they sick of them and they want to go to you, divine feminine, the one that's single and abundant. And this, this karmic, they're feeling very wounded behind this person because they done fought, they done cursed, they done, they done did everything in the book. They done did witchcraft, they done fought, they done stole, they done um, sabotage, they done lie they they did everything in the book okay they didn't even laid up told like i said had kept secrets did threesomes did everything okay now they in their feelings because they see 2018 2019 on this clock somebody is a liar and they're not attracting anything come this full moon that's what i'm seeing here divine feminine and then and, and it's this king of cups and this king of cups here and they looking at you divine feminine and what you got going on and how happy you are with yourself and how much you love yourself, okay? And what you attracted to yourself because they're not attracted anything to themselves. And we're going to clarify this. That's why they're trying to rush into you with some type of communication, with some type of conflict. But you, you're protected. The world card here. Why did you show us this attraction in reverse when it comes to this guilt and sabotage? Because somebody know they guilty. This person that is a cheater, okay, they're guilty for doing this magic. They're guilty for doing this witchcraft, just like I said. And they see that this shit done backfire on them, and they have nothing good coming to them. And they crying over this. They they at night crying. And they crying too because you got a new opportunity in love because that's what you attracted. And they're having to what? Tough it out. Want, they wanting to leave. They wanted to run away because they have stormy times. They have storms in their life that they created that they don't, yeah, because they're powerless, power in reverse. And they don't have anything to share, share the wealth. They're in poverty. That's what I'm seeing here. Six of Pentacles in reverse. And that's why they feel like you don't have nothing to talk to them about. They feel guilty because they sabotage their own life. But they constantly blame you for sabotaging their life. Okay? Let's go ahead. We're going to see what the cue cards have to say about this King of Cups here. When it comes to this magician here and this Nine of Swords. 999 is out here, y'all. 999. So if you've been seeing 999, this is how you know you completed a cycle. Because 10 is 1 and 0. And 1 plus 0 is what? 1. Back to the beginning, pool. So this is this is what's happening. 999. Nine of swords, nine of pentacles with the nine of wands. Okay, you back to the beginning. You back to square one. That's what I'm seeing here. All about one. That's yourself. 10 on 1 was on his clock. I remember I saw that. We're going to see what is going on. Foolish, foolish again at the bottom of the deck. This was a clown. This was a clown, y'all. Look, this person sees that doors is opening for you. Clarify this, Holy Spirit. Clarify this uh, moon card with this King of Cups here, with this Knight, Knight of Wands. Why show me this? Why show me this for the target? Because you do not want to mend a relationship with this person, point blank, period. But they got a lot of passion towards you. They have a lot of passion towards you. You see that says passion. Yeah. And they know doors is opening up for you. So they could be mirroring and projecting onto you with this magic. Why would you show us this um, magician here with the nine of swords, the nine of pentacles with the nine of wands? Because your dearest wishes are coming true. See? And this is why they... Please stand by. And this is why they feel guilty. And this is why they feel like they sabotage their life. But they blame it, everything on you. Okay? But it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Because you nurture yourself. And you have a new opportunity and love coming. So, yeah. How could it be your fault if you, if you have love coming towards you? Or you could be in love right now. Okay? It's, that means that it's not you. I'm telling you, yeah, because somebody wants this with you. Somebody wants ring, ring, ring. Somebody wants to propose to you. Somebody wants to um, make you theirs. That's what I'm hearing here. Make you mine. I want to make you mine. So we're going to go ahead and clarify this last but not least. What is this? Last but not least, we're going to clarify. Um, the spying. We, no, we're going to clarify two things. We're going to clarify comfort zone and then spying and watching. So, Holy Spirit and Holy Angels, why did, why did you show us comfort zone? Give us a cue card on the comfort zone, south node and clingy. Why show us that? 
because you lucky that you don't have to deal with this energy. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, because this is a snake straight up. Because this is a snake straight up, yo. Both of these energies, you lucky you do not have to deal with these energies because they both a snake. One of them has a sex problem. That's what I'm hearing here. Look, 50-50. This is both of them. Mm-mm-mm. We're going to clarify this. We're going to clarify this. Comfort zone, south no, and clingy. Somebody is clingy. Somebody that you went 50-50 on, this person is very needy, very clingy, very codependent. That's what I'm seeing here. This other person here, they in their comfort zone. They're a snake. They don't want to step out of their comfort zone. That's what I'm seeing here. And somebody is definitely in a south no because all they think about is going down south. That's what I'm hearing here. They want to know what's up down south. I can never make it up. Do you see this body here? Yes, this person wants to see you unclothed. They want you to take it off. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, but you're healed. You're here from this. You could be Aquarius. This Aquarius full moon that's about to come. This Aquarius blood moon. You're healed. Your wishes is being fulfilled. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, you're the star card. You're the star. So, and you, you, look, that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and that's your destiny, because you and your north node, you and your north node, these other people, they're in their south node, they're in their lower self, these people from your past, six of cups, these people that wants to make you an offer, but they ain't got shit else in these damn cups, and the lights ain't even on upstairs, the lights ain't even on upstairs, but they want to offer you something. Yo, go ahead, yo. They want to offer you some love. But there's nothing, no lights is on upstairs. You don't want this person here. Look, it's dark upstairs. They don't think. They don't use their mind. And that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So let's go ahead and clarify. Why you show me this requires stillness with the snake for the comfort zone south and old clingy? This is clingy to me. They ain't regretting this spirit. Five of cups. They ain't regretting this spirit right here. Okay? Why? That's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth because it's clear. It's clear that this person is a snake. It's clear that everything that this person does, it does not go right. It's clear that this person cannot keep good relationships. It's clear that this person is in and they're out. They're up and they're down. They're black, then they're white is wrong then it's right they fight they break up they kiss they make up they bipolar that's what i'm hearing here this person is very bipolar they could even be somebody could even told them that they was bipolar yo this could be a cancer yeah suffering harsh painful and it's ten of swords watching you constantly pretending to themselves that this could be something good but they know that this is not Three of Swords. They know that this shit is not good. They, they know that this shit is heartbreaking. Okay? Like I said, this person be crying and whatnot. Trying to make up. Fight. They make up. Kiss. We break up. Whatever the fuck. This is what this person, they confuse. They don't know whether they want to come or whether they, whether they want to go. They don't know what they want to do, but they swear this could be good. But this is not good because they think that they want to heal everything. That's what I'm seeing here. They think that they want heals everything, but what happens is their want hurts everything. It confuses everything. Like when you have sex with a lot of people, some of you don't know it, some of you do. I feel like whoever watched my video, I feel like y'all know this. When you have sex with a lot of different people, if you don't cleanse yourself, it can really hurt you. Dumb sirens in the background. Mm -hmm. It could really hurt you, y'all. So somebody feels very hurt because I feel like somebody wants to go 50-50 with you. Ten of wands, ten of swords. And they suffering in silence right now. This could be a karmic, but we're going to clarify this. Okay, this could definitely be a karm be the karmic that feels like this. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why you show us this nine of wands here with the three of swords, with the chariot for the this could be good? Yeah, this is a person that could be a chef or they could cook a lot or it's a fork in the road. They don't know whether to pick between a spoon and a knife. Okay, that, I'm hearing you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. They know that your wishes is getting for So they want to definitely mend a relationship with you, but the, I feel like you do not want to mend this relationship. 
and that's why they want to go 50 50 with you or that's why somebody is upset that they want to go 50 50 with you clarify this snake i'm telling you they created a storm in their life they created a storm in their life dealing with this snake okay and they want you to give them the tea about this person for some of you and they want you to share your wealth with them because like i said all your wishes is being fulfilled and coming true okay and that's why they codependent and they clingy or this is why you're like this okay take it how it resonates last but not least we're gonna go ahead and clarify this uh spy spy holy spirit but somebody is spying on you we're gonna we're gonna use this deck for that i'm gonna get one from the believe in your own magic real quick for the spy holy spirit clarify this spy what was it spy watching and inspecting spy watching and inspecting Spy watching and inspecting. Why'd you show us this a little bit? What's going on with that? Same thing that came out last video or the video before that, okay? I think it was last video. They tried to tangle you up. They tried to twist your fate and they got tangled up. It was these two again. Look at this. Dear. Yeah. They got they stuff. They wrote a check. They ass cake cash. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, because you earned all your stripes. Huh? Flowers. You earned lioness. You earned all your stripes and your and your flowers. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, somebody, they they try, they try to do some type of ritual or cast some type of spell on you. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and that shit straight backfired. Do that look like a backfire to you? Leave it in the comment section below. Because that looked like a backfire to me. Point blank, period. And then I tell you somebody was marrying and projecting onto you. I could never make this up. 2112. 2112. Does that look like marrying and projecting? I do. I think so. And you constantly have your fairies that come and they tell you. They tell you. And you see these orbs. You see these orbs. You be having orbs around you because these are your archangels. That's what I'm hearing here. And you don't seek anyone's approval. Because why? You going to be you. That's what I'm hearing here. Okay, yeah. And somebody was definitely trying to put a potion on you. And that's why they were spying and watching. They was trying to give you a potion for you can drink. And they were spying and watching you and inspecting to see if you drunk it or to see if it was working on you. But I, I'm hearing you pour that shit in the toilet. Okay? Point by period. Remember to practice self-love. And then I tell you that's, that's what you're doing. You practicing self-love. Okay? Yeah. And some people, they think you a wish... But I'm hearing this person that try to do this, cast this witchcraft on you. They are a basic witch, a amateur witch. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? So this is all for the spy. Let's get a um cue card. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why don't you show us this? This look like a lot of spell work going on here with just these three cards. Don't it? Somebody is very much concentrating on you, trying to do some type of spell on you. Point by period. Mirror and projecting onto you and everything like that. So, Holy Spirit, why would you show us this? When it comes to spy, inspecting, and watching. Why would you show us this? Back at the bottom of the deck. This is the person that thinks something could be good, but it's not. This is the person that has a lot of passion for you. That shit backfired. Just like I said, this is a lot of fire. A lot of fire. Somebody sent some shit to the pits of hell. That's what I'm hearing here. Yeah, they sure did. And that's exactly where it went, okay? Please stand by. Please stand by. And this is why they're spying, watching, and expecting, okay? Because they want to see if this shit backfired on them. And if you watch my video and you a cross-watcher and you doing some shit, guess what, Pooh? Please stand by because the shit backfired on you, okay? We going to clarify these. Where's my, um, right here? Holy Spirit, clarify this, um... Clover, why you show me the clover? Release your guilt because this person here, this cheater, wants to release their guilt now. Knight of Wands that they did some type of spell work on their family and it backfired. Point by period, pool. and that's why they want to rush into you. They want to rush, rush into you towards you to try to plead their case because this shit backfired. Pool, I'm not playing. This is what's really going on. Okay, take what resonate and leave what doesn't. And that's why they want to spy on you, Seven of Swords. Because they sneaky and they want to they wanna see th this King of Cups. Did this shit work? This sorcery, this witchcraft, this mean witchcraft, this moon car here. Come this full moon. That's exactly what they want to see. So Holy Spirit, clear. I'm telling you, they want to see did it work. 
Clarify this, please. Feather. For the expect. That's the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. So they getting left out in the cold. Just like I said. Five of Pentacles. They are in poverty because of this shit. Yeah, things is very dark in their life right now. And you, you get a new opportunity in intuition. You get a new opportunity in love. Your downloads is heightening. That's what I'm seeing here. And that's another problem. Because this is causing a harsh, painful ending for them as well. And this is part of their karma. All right. So this, this message was very interesting. Okay. This is number 13. Lioness, you putting shit to an end. You've earned your stripes. That's what I'm seeing here. You have spiritual understanding, and it's time for divine order. Go take a look at my other video that I just put out yesterday because this video went with that. This is the truth, the, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Somebody is a basic witch that's trying to do this spell work on you, okay? That's why all this shit is backfiring times three. I done show y'all three different cards with fire on it, so you know this shit is backfiring, okay? Continue to nurture yourself, your inner child, and your children if you have them. Let's pull some monology and some angel answers, and we're going to get up on out of here. I hope this message resonated with you. Like, share, and subscribe, and we're going to pull some monology. Leave a comment below as well if that looked like uh, backfiring to you. Okay, what does it say? Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. All right, so I feel like that's what you do, and work through your fears. You bring love into the situation, even if you are fearful of someone's actions, you still do what you got to do, okay? Any more from the monology, Holy Spirit? Look, again, oh, it's time to release negativity, okay? Meditate and contemplate. We in Scorpio season two. Happy birthday to all my Scorpios. And nothing will come of this situation. Nothing will come of this situation. Why? Because your hard work is paying off. And you showing the world the real you. Point blank period. So have faith in your dreams because they are coming true.